Welcome to the Sacramento Koi's 2023 unboxing video. For the last 23 years, we have traveled to Japan in October to hand select quality koi for our customers. This is a very fun and exciting time of the year for us. Four years ago, we started to film the arrival and unboxing of each of these koi. This gives our customers a preview of what the quality and selection of the new koi that we will be offering for sale to the public looks like. Keep in mind though that many of these koi will have already been purchased through our pre-order program. For information concerning our pre-order program, please visit our website at sacramentokoi.com. Stick around to the end of this video for a first look at the much anticipated sequel to our video, What is it like to buy koi in Japan? Now, please sit back and enjoy the unboxing of 102 boxes worth of newly selected koi purchased during a 2023 buying trip to Japan. First up, we have Ikarashi Koi Farms. Located about 40 minutes west of most of the other breeders, it's a little bit of a drive to get to him, but it's well worth it. Specializing in a lot of metallics and unusual fish, he's always a must stop for us on our koi buying trip. We start off our very first box with a really nice Goshiki. Great pattern going back and forth, intense red with really nice reticulation through the gray scales. Here we have a Hishisui. Now Hishisui differs because he, the red on a Hishisui comes all the way up and touches the blue scales. A Ginrin Metallic Ochiba. Now we have a Ginrin Asagi. Really nice, beautiful, clean head on this one. An Arigako Beni Kikokuru. The Arigako is going to be the large dragon scales that you'll see on this fish. And finally, a Beni Ginga. As you go through and watch this video, for your reference, the bowl that all these fish are being filmed in is about 30 inches in diameter. This bowl starts off with a Ginrin Goshiki, along with a Deutz Sanki. Check out how white this fish is. He has a Tancho Kikasui. Great spectacular skin color. A nice little four-step Kohaku. Here we have a Deutz Metallic Shiro Beko, something you don't see every day. And finally, a Kujaku. Here we have a 20 inch female Ginrin Ochiba. Really strong color on this fish. Love the actual separation of the brown on his forehead. We also have a 15 inch Ginrin Tancho Kujaku. Now this is going to be a little bit of a project fish. The black hasn't quite come up yet, but we have really high hopes for the fish. That that will develop and be turned into a really strong, beautiful black pattern down its back. Here we start off with a Kohaku, then a Deutz Shiro Yutsuri, now a Kujaku. Another Kujaku. Nice to be able to see the, the difference in the color here. We have one a little more red and another one a little orange. Both are very acceptable though. Here we have a Ginrin Surigoi. And finally, a Ginrin Ochiba. Box number five starts off with a Ginrin Asagi actually two Ginrin Asagis, and these are both what we would call snow Asagis, where the back is essentially almost white, very little blue will be coming through there. We also have a Ginrin Metallic Ochiba, very bright and shiny. A Tancho Kujaku, cute little half moon right on the back of his head. And finally a Tancho Metallic Ochiba. Now these ones, just like Ochibas, are that kind of gra brown and gray, but it's much more lighter being the metallic colored, much more iridescent. In this box, we have a Benny Kumunru. Really cute, strong pattern and great separation on the colors. Have here also a Ginrin Ochiba, a 
a kujaku, we thought the reticulation in the scales, that, that pattern of black going to the scale on, each, on this fish, was really nice. A kikasui. Now check out the pectoral fins on this beni kikokuru. How cool are those? And finally, we have a kujaku. Now, if you're looking for something unusual, I got two fish here for you. First one here is a Benny Ginga. Super strong color on this fish. And look at how cool that circle on the forehead is. Plus the pectoral fins, really striking fish. Additionally, we have a Arigako Metallic Ochiba. Not going to find one of these very often. Something very unusual. Big scales on it, really bright colors. Will definitely stand out in your pond. Now, if you like something special, this is an amazing fish. We have a 24 inch female Ginrin Snow Asagi. This is a spectacular fish. Look how white the back is with that little glisten of the Ginrin through the scales. Plus the red coming all the way across the face. It's just an amazing fish. This was actually picked up for a customer who had special ordered one of these fish during our pre-order. So we're hoping the customer will love it and she is just an absolutely spectacular example of what a snow asagi should look like. We also got a request during our pre-order program for a nice Ginrin Tancho Goshiki and we thought this would fit the bill perfectly. Great red on, this, on the head and it's a really great glisten to the body. Another customer was also looking for a really nice Ginrin Goshiki just standard, no Tancho. We love the pattern of this one, how it almost has this zigzag sl slashing back and forth. But the fact that black hasn't come through the red yet was a great indicator that this is a good long-term fish for him. Each year we go to Japan, we're never quite sure what we're going to find. Sometimes we find a lot of one thing and none of the other, or vice versa. This year we found a, quite a few of these aragoki fish, the, what has these large, oversized dragon scales down its back. And here are two examples of that. We have two Aragoki Kujakus, both female, 121, 122 inches. And that wraps up the 10 boxes and 39 koi that we bought from Ikarashi Koi Farms. And now, we move on to Shinoda Koi Farms. We've been buying from Shinoda Koi Farms for quite a long time now, specializing in Ginrin Showa, Deutsch Showa, and Hiatsuri. He's also starting to branch out now into other variations, including Kujaku, Kohaku, and even Ochiba. We start off the first box from Shinoda with a Ginrin Showa, followed by a Deutz Showa. Now this one's a little more unusual, not a lot of black on it, but still something very striking and the quality was exceptional. Another Ginrin Showa, and finally a Hiatsuri. Great deep color on this fish, good strong black, and matching pectoral fins. Great fish for somebody who's looking for a beautiful Hiatsuri. As mentioned before, he, Shinoda specializes in Ginrin Showa and also Deutsch Showa. And here's some beautiful examples of those. First one has a really strong black, great pattern going to the back. Then we have two Deutsch Showas, really impressive. Feels like you poured ink on top of a white fish, just really striking, bold standout patterns. And then we conclude this box with one more Ginrin Showa. We start off box number 13 with a Ginrin Kohaku, followed up by a Ginrin Showa. Now here we have a Ginrin Tancho Kohaku. Good strong white on this fish. The, the Tancho is not perfect circle, it's still overall a really striking fun fish. We have also another Ginrin Kohaku, and finally, a Ginrin Showa. Start this box off with a Deutz Kohaku. Really strong white on this one. Look how clean the nose is, and that nice Marutan circle on the forehead. We also have a Deutz Showa, a Ginrin Showa, now we also have here two Deutz Sankis. 
great color, great clarity, beautiful pattern on these fish also. Now these four fish are going to range from 17 to 21 inches in length. We start with a Ginrin Shoa, a Hiatsuri. We really like the little stripes of color in the Hiatsuri's fins. Thought it added a nice little touch to it. We have a Deutsch Shoa, which is just stunning. Pectoral fins matching, big, strong, old style, bold pattern on it. And last, a Ginrin Shiritsuri. Though the black hasn't fully come up yet on this fish, we have a lot of hope for it in the future that it will create a nice, strong, interesting pattern as that black develops. Now this box is a wonderful example of two Deutsch Shoas. The first one, the black hasn't fully come up yet and still has a lot of potential for the future. The second one is essentially finished, with only a little bit more black still to come. Both excellent quality. The white is white, the black is so deep, and the red is really strong also. The only thing is, you're going to have to wait a couple years for that black to fully develop on that first one. We really like this Ginrin Shiritsuri. The black has developed nicely already. Though it's not polished, it still looks really nice. Not too much to overpower the fish, just the right balance of white and black across the whole body. Plus a wonderful body confirmation and mashing pectoral fins. What a wonderful fish this is going to be. The Hiatsuri has similar traits also. Good body confirmation, great pectoral fins, and a very appealing pattern to the eye. Here we have a 23 inch female Deutz Shoa. Though she's a little thin, likelihood is she grew very fast and long initially and then will fill out as she gets a little older. He also here here a 21 inch Hiatsuri. Great thick, deep red color, very little speckling, Excellent clarity on the fish. Now this was a fish we were kind of surprised to find at Shinoda. Here is a Ginrin Ochiba. Not something he usually breeds, but the quality on this one was so nice, we just had to buy it. We also have a Ginrin Showa. Now both these are 20 and 21 inches each. Excellent clarity. Good strong face pattern on the Showa just makes it for a very striking fish swimming through your pond. Plus the Ginrin on each of them is really metallic, really shiny. Gives you that awesome disco ball feel as the fish swims by. Located about a 40 minute drive south, Fukusawa Koi Farms has always delivered for us when it comes to larger, fun, unusual koi. And this year was no different. We were able to select 15 boxes with a total of 33 fish in them. As mentioned earlier, while you may find very few of one fish one year and a lot the next, this year, for us, we found a lot of quality tonchos in a many different varieties. Here's a great example of a toncho sonki. Good, nice round circle and a really eye-catching pattern on its back. We also have a Deutz Kujaku, along with a really nice Igoromo. These are all three-year-old koi, in range in size from 17 to 21 inches. We start off box number 21 with a Ginrin Benigoi. Great solid color through the whole body, and look at the fins, how it has that little bit of white on it, very striking. We also have a Shisui with a cute almost heart pattern, a little dot on its side. And finally, look at the white on this Kikokuru. Just spectacular. Start this one off with a Tancho Sanki. This was a really nice one. Good strong black pattern, but also look how wide the, the red circle on the forehead is, almost touching either eye. We have a Kikokuru, another great example of a really strong white pattern and then a fantastic Tancho Kohaku. Sleek, white body with just that nice red circle on the forehead. Each year we get a few customers who request a special fish, something, a, a head turner. Something's going to make them stop and look at their pond and go, oh wow. And we're hoping that this might fill the need for one of our customers who requested something like that. 
here we have a 25 inch Deutz Kujaku. And just look at how pretty this thing is. Really crisp white skin, good orange pattern. And the scalation going on the back is super even and symmetrical. With that little cluster right behind his head. Really, just an eye-catching fish. We're hoping our customer will really like it. This box starts off with a nice Deutz Harawaki. Good strong yellow on it with that interesting scalation down its spine. We also have a He Shisui with that red once again coming all the way to its back. A nice clean white face. And also a Hajaru. The uniqueness of its pectoral fins alone made us fall in love with this fish. Here we have a Ai Goromo along with a Ginrin Surigoi. Nice good full body shape this one. And great scalation. Here we have a scaled Harawaki, which is a little more unusual. And now it's a Tancho, which makes it even more unusual, making it a very fun find for us. And now we move on to the big girl. Here is a 25 inch female, uh, four years of age, I Goromo. And what a spectacular fish she is. White is super crisp, and the pattern's really nice. But the black isn't overly developed yet. Still has plenty of room to come up and leave a very nice reticulated pattern down its red. Just an absolute beautiful fish to look at. Would make a great addition to anybody's pond. We kick off box number 24 with a Tancho Sanki. Followed up with a Ginrin Surigoi. Really strong Ginrin scales in this one. And finally, a Ginrin Metallic Akamatsuba. Something very unusual, something we don't find every day. Great scalation and plenty of room for that reticulation to still come up, not overpower the fish. Start this box off with a Tancho Showa. Nicely placed circle on the forehead, strong white, and an interesting black pattern. Plus match matching pectoral fins are a cute touch. Here's a 22 inch Kujaku. Now the confirmation on this fish is about as perfect as you can get. Good, big, full bodied female, great pectoral fins, just a wonderful quality fish. Here we have a Ochiba with a nice red color to the brown. Versus here's another Ochiba, which is a slightly more of the orangish brown versus the red. Both nice fish with a great netting pattern in between the scales. Now we also have a Tancho Sanki. Great white, big, full Tancho on the forehead. And the black that has come up already is really nice quality, but with a simple, elegant pattern to it. Box number 27 has just one fish in it. We have a 24 inch female platinum Ogon. Many times we'll see with fish, they'll grow very long very quickly. Here this fish is only four years old, but already 24 inches. So what can happen is they put a lot of their length on first and then they begin to fill out and get their girth, that width to them that you classically see with those big full bodied fish. So that's what we're hoping is gonna happen with this girl. Now this box may be my favorite box of the entire trip. We start off with a Ginrin Tancho Ochiba and then a spectacular Ginrin Tancho Sanki and finish off with a great Goshiki. Now these are all spectacular quality, but the Ginrin Tancho Sanki is just something very unique. It's not your typical little dots going down its back with the Sanki. It's much more of a bolder pattern giving it kind of an atypical feel but the quality is spectacular, just as it is in all three of these fish. Here, box number 29 starts off with a Tancho Goshiki, followed up with a standard Goshiki. Great scalation on this one. You can really see each individual scale highlighted on it. 
And finally, a Ginrin Shirut Suri. Now this one we have high hopes for. The white is super crisp on it, great scalation, a very simple, delicate pattern, but the pectoral fins with the, with the mutuguri, the, the matching fins, just makes the fish. Now we have a 26 inch female Ginrin Chagoy. Now these fish have become super popular because they're, they're known to be very friendly, uh, they're big eaters, and they will encourage all the other fish to, if you train with a little training, to come up and eat right of your hand. Now this one is a big girl. She will definitely be have a presence in your pond. With that shininess of the scales as she swims by, will definitely be a big head turner. Now if you've been looking for a Goromo, this is the fish from you. They don't get a whole lot better than this. You got a 24 inch female, I Goromo, with that beautiful Marotan circle on the forehead. The scalation is just about perfect going all the way back and yet the white has stayed crisp and white. This truly is an absolutely spectacular fish. Let's now head over to Kaneko Koi Farms. Established in 1961, Kaneko is now the second generation to run this farm. Although specializing in Shiryutsuri and Kujakus, we can always count on him to find a nice variety of wonderful fish. Our first box from Kaneko starts off with a cute little Tancho Goshiki, followed up with a standard Goshiki. Now this next one may not look like it, but this is also a Tancho Goshiki. The greatest hasn't quite developed the way we would normally expect to see on it on what Goshiki should have. We also have an Igoromo with a cute little lightning bolt going through its face. Another lighter Tancho Goshiki. And finally, a Beni Kikokuru. Our hope is, even if the gray gets a little darker with that white belly, it'll still be a striking fish that will stand out in your pond. This box here is going to have five Ochibas in it, both a combination of regular and also Tancho Ochibas. Now, the thing we liked about his Ochibas in particular is you get that nice, clear, fish knitting pattern going through their back that zigzagging of darkness on top of the gray it adds a nice contrast and really is what you're looking for in Ochiba is so it can highlight each individual scale so you see that netting pattern going down the entire length of the body of the koi here we have a Tancho Showa though the black is not developed yet the conformation on this fish with the matching mutaguru and the pectoral fins is just wonderful. We have a Ginrin Goshiki along with a Tancho Sanki. Now we're going to have to wait a little while for that black and that Sanki to come up, but it's there. It's just under the skin. If you look closely, you can see it there just under the surface of the white. And finally, a Platinum Ogon. Here we have a Platinum Ogon along with another Ochiba. thought the pattern across the face on this one was real interesting and fun. We have here a Deutz Kujaku, along with a standard Kujaku, and finally another Deutz Kujaku. really liked the scalation going on the spine on these two Deutz Kujakus. Adds a neat, almost armor plating right down its back. And this is our last box from Kaneko Koi Farms. We start with a Platinum Ogon. We also have a Tancho Goshiki. Really nice circle on the forehead of this one with an even good gray scalation on its back. Another Platinum Ogon. And finally, a Deutz Kujaku. This brought our total to 26 fish in five boxes from Kaneko Koi Farms. We now move on to Yamasan Koi Farms. Each year we buy more fish from Yamasan Koi Farm than any other breeder, and this year proved to be no different. We were able to purchase 25 boxes with a total of 84 koi. We start off our first box of Yamasan Koi with this Ginrin Hiyatsuri. 
very interesting bowl pattern with this striping the pectoral fins. Just really makes the fish pop. We also have a long fish, Aragoki Mukashi Ogon. This is a really unique fish. The big, almost oversized fins with that dragon scalation down its back makes the fish just something to behold. We now have a Kikasui, super strong red with that piercing white. The contrast between the two just makes that fish really stand out. Also a long fin platinum ogon. Yamasan Koi Farms is the only breeder that we visit that actually produces long fin koi. Here we have a Aragoki Karashigoi. Karashigois are known to get massive. So it's going to be really fun to see what this koi will look like with those big scales as the fish gets really huge. We also have a Ochiba and a Deutz Platinum Ogon. Now, if you like long fins, have we got the fish for you. Here's a long fin Shisui. And just look at the size of those fins. And with the little bit of orange in each of them, it just makes for a spectacular fish floating in your pond. We also have a Deutz Harawaki and just an absolutely cute little polka dot pattern going down its back. Now we have a long fin Hiyatsuri. Now these have some exceptionally long fins. We love the, the different coloration in it. The dark with a little bit of orange and especially the white tips on the pectoral fins really made this fish something special. We also have a scaled Tancho Harawaki. I liked how the, the yellow actually went from nose all the way to the top of his head like a little helmet on the fish. We just thought it was something different and special. In this box we have a He Shisui. That red coming all the way up against the back, but leaving that little bit of the white window in the middle of the forehead and on the tip of the nose, just thought it added a really neat characteristic to the fish. Also a long fin Ginrin Kujaku, something really shiny and spectacular also. In this box we have a Aragoki Karashigoi. The breeder actually referred to this as a pineapple scale in that Normally you'd have a row of scales on the spine, down either side, but then this has that extra set in between those, so you can have five sets of scales. We just thought this was so different and unique looking. We also have a Platinum Ogon and a Long Fin Harawaki. Now we have a large 26 inch Gin Matsuba. We always say that every pond should have at least a, one all-white fish. So Platinum Ogon has become very popular. This, I think, is a wonderful alternative. The all-white fish, with just a little bit of black scalation going down, adds a little extra level of intricacy and interest to the fish. This one is a spectacular version of it. Great reticulation, good full body, and just a wonderful example of Matsuba. In addition to every pond needing an all white fish, so you also need an all yellow fish. And here's a great example of a very bright Yamabuki Ogon. Really crisp, clean yellow to the fish. Also a long fin Shisui. Great separation between the colors. The cute little button nose and the matching pectoral fins just make this fish amazing. Here we have a Mukashi Ogon. These can vary from a dark steel gray to a softer metallic yellow. This one kind of splits the difference with a gray body and a little bit of yellow to each of the fins. We also have a long fin Kujaku. Really like how intense the orange is on the fish. It really jumps out at you. Plus the fact it kind of goes in the pectoral fins adds a nice bit of character to the fish. Here we have a very large 26 inch Tancho Kohaku. Really great fish, big full body, great round circle on the forehead, wide almost touching either eye, nice clean pectoral fins. The few little spots on its back are just 
little anchor worm attachment points which are healing up and will clear up in no time. Now we have a Ginrin Hiatsuri. This one was very nice. The pectoral fins had that striping, almost sunburst going through them. Clean pattern going through, and the black was nice and intense. We also have a Benny Kikokuru. Now this one, the red was exceptionally spectacular on it. It almost feels like lava breaking through stone. Can't wait to see how this fish develops over the years. It's truly something amazing. Now for box 49, we start off with a Shiro Yitsuri. And the quality on this fish was something else. The black was so deep and rich. It just feels like ink poured on the fish. And the white was a nice, good, strong, and a great separation between the two. We also have a wonderful Ginrin Chagoy with really strong, sparkly Ginrin scales. And to finish off with a Ginrin Hiatsuri. Once again, very fun, exciting pectoral fins and a nice, elegant pattern. Next, we have a Shisui. Really cute fish. Love the little dot in the middle of the forehead. It almost kind of reminds you of a Tancho spot. Uh, great pectoral fins, too. The little bit of orange at the base matching. Great, great quality. We also have a Ginrin Platinum Ogon. Good, strong, bright white with that shiny, reflective Ginrin scales. And then something a little different, a Deutz Yamabuki Ogon. We don't see many Deutz Yamabukis very often, so this was something kind of fun and unusual. Now, if you're looking for something off the wall and a little different, this might be the fish for you. We have a Longfin Aragoki Mukashi Ogon. It basically looks like a dinosaur with fins, and honestly, I love it. We also have here a Kinki Yutsuri. Now, Kinki Yutsuri is typically the black can fade a little bit when you put them in blue tubs, but this will definitely pop, bounce back and be a nice, strong black pattern to it. And when you combine that with the brightness of the yellow, this is going to be a great fish. We start off this box with a Ginrin Chagoy. Once again, really nice, sparkly Ginrin on its back. We then have a Shisui. Love the little red bridge going across the forehead, leaving the white nose and the white mid-back. Plus the matching pectoral fins adds to the quality of this fish. Now we have a long fin shisui. Now this one's something special. Really crisp, clean, simple lines to it. With a little bit of red coming across the cheeks. Ah, gotta love it. This box starts off with a Ginrin Chagoy. And then we also have a Ginrin Shiriatsuri, and finally a Deutz Platinum Ogon. I really like this Ginrin Shiriatsuri. It has a great pattern to it that's just not too overpowering, just the right balance of white and black to it. This box starts off with a Benny Kikokuru. Great gray and orange combo on this fish. The little orange coming up on either side just behind the eyes. It's a nice, nice feature to it. We also have a Yamabuki Ogon. Great bright yellow fish here. Nice round pectoral fins. Two stellar examples of each fish. Here's a beautiful Deutz Kuhaku. Wonderful separation of color between the red and the white on this fish. We also have a Benny Kikokuru. Once again, a great combination of gray and orange. Uh, not a lot of orange, but what's there is beautiful and in a very unique, interesting pattern. This brings a conclusion to all of the three and four year old koi that we bought from Yamasan Koi Farms. However, we did also pick up several two year old koi. This box of two year old koi kicks off with a long fin Ginrin Benny Koi. Very sparkly, fun fish here. We also have a Tancho Kikasui, a Deutz Kujaku, a Longfin Sokura Ogon, a Ginrin Ochiba, and finally a Ginrin Kujaku.
This next box is two-year-old. Starts with a Ginrin Metallic Ochiba, and then a second one. Then we have a Ki Kikokuru, a Longfin Platinum Ogon, a Ginrin Ochiba, a nice bright Yamabuki Ogon, and finally a Ginrin Platinum Ogon. Box number 58 starts off with another Longfin Ginrin Benigoy, a Gin Shiryutsuri, a Beni Kikokuru, a Kinki Yutsuri, an Ai Goromo, a Beni Kikokuru with a kind of a cute little tancho on its forehead. And finally, a Deutz Harawaki. This box starts off with a Longfin Ginrin Platinum Ogon, along with a Ginrin Benigoy, a Ginrin Chagoy, a Ginrin Surigoy. We also have a long fin scaled Harawaki, a long fin Ginrin Kujaku, and finally a long fin Ginga. Moving on to our next box, we start off with a Yamabuki Ogon, a Ginrin Kujaku, a Ginrin Shiroyutsuri. A very nice Ginga. We now also have a Ki Kikokuru, a Deutz Yamabuki Ogon, and lastly, a Gin Shiro Yutsuri. And this now brings us to our final box from Yamasan Koi Farms. We start off with a long fin Ginga, a little on the lighter side. A Ginrin Chagoy, a Gin Shirogitsuri, Ginrin Platinum Ogon, a Yamabuki Ogon, a Longfin Platinum Ogon, and last but not least, a Deutz Harawaki. With all the varieties that we get from him, I think it's pretty clear why we buy so many fish from Yamasan Koi Farms. We now head off to Nagoshi Koi Farms. About a two hour drive east of the majority of the breeders in Ojia, it's an all day adventure to go shop from this breeder. But we always come back with some absolutely wonderful gems from him. This year in particular, we came back with just six fish, but they are six absolutely stunners. We start off with this 26 inch female Sanki with a Marotan pattern. And the Marotan is going to be that tancho circle on a fish, but without being a tancho because it still has red throughout the rest of the body. This one in particular was just an absolutely beautiful girl. Nice round circle. The color was so strong on her. And the interesting pattern, that little U of black behind her head, along with the rest of the black of the body being so deep and strong, it just added a nice contrast to the fish. Overall, we just fell in love with this fish and we just knew we had to buy it. Here we have another big girl. We got a 28 inch female Kohaku. Now this one particular we call a Sakura pattern, which translates roughly as cherry blossoms. So it has that almost cherry blossom leaf pattern going back and forth, these little petals on her back. Uh, overall, big full bodied female, great shape to her. Good separation between the red and the white. Very beautiful fish. Now we have another Kohaku here. This is what we call a Sandan pattern or three step. This is your classic traditional Kohaku with the one, two, three spots on its back. Uh, this one in particular is 24 inches and only three years of age. So we think this thing has got a lot of potential to get big as she gets older. 
um, in the clean line across the nose is really spectacular. Plus the back edge of all three spots is really sharpening too. So here we have our last Kohaku from the Goshikori Farms. This is a 27 inch four year old female with a Inazumi pattern. Now the Inazumi pattern is gonna be this zigzag of color going back and forth, starting on the, on the left, then going on the right and back and forth all the way down her spine. Really interesting, unique pattern. We just thought this was so cool and thought one of our customers ha would just absolutely love this fish. Each time we visit Nagoshi Koi Farms, we try to find one unusual, unique fish. And this one definitely fit that bill this year. We have a 24 inch female Deutz Yamabuki Ogon in such a unique pattern with that scales on the back. It almost gives it like a, a lemon wedge or a lemon slice right behind her head. Just thought something we thought was really fun and exciting that we knew a customer would be very interested in seeing. And this brings us to our last fish from Nagoshi Koi Farms. We have here a 26 inch four year old female Sanki. And what an interesting pattern this one has, has a lot of red on one side and more balanced black on the other side. Uh, very untraditional, but super, super interesting and cool with that nice round circle on the forehead and that red zigzagging down its back. It's a very unique fish that we just fell in love with and just thought would be a great addition to someone's pond. Our next stop is Marusaka Koi Farms, operating now for over 70 years. We usually find lots of different metallics and also chagoys here. We were able to purchase 21 fish in six boxes for this breeder. Our first box of Marasaka Koi Farm starts off with a Ki Kikokuru. Nice bright yellow. Should be an interesting fish as it gets older. We also have here a Deutz Kujaku. A Ginrin Tancho Kujaku. Should be interesting here with this bright white and that reflective scales. Very nice fish. A Beni Kikokuru. Thought this one was interesting with that little cluster of scales right behind the forehead and then nothing else. And then finally, a Ginrin Orangia Ogon. Love the pectoral fins on this one with how much white are in it. Really flashy, makes it stand out in the pond. Now this is one of those fish that we don't see very often. Here is a Midori Goy. Nice full, full body on her. And it's just one of those things where they don't breed Midori Goys very often, so when we do find them, we try to buy them. We also have a Ginrin Kujaku. Now this one was something special. The white was so intense on it, and that red was almost fluorescent, that fluorescent orange. Uh, the black in the scale hasn't come up just yet, so we're hoping another year or so that'll come to the surface. But that little hint of Ginrin through it, really nice fish. Here's another one of those fish we don't see very often. This is a Ginrin Kabuto, and a Kabuto is an old style Ogon, uh, one of the older fishes that you that don't get produced very often anymore. Uh, it was crossbred with a Ginrin Chagoy to get this Ginrin Kabuto. Just thought it was something very different and could be fun in someone's pond. We also have a Yamato Nishiki, which is essentially a scaleless metallic skin Sanki. Moving on here, we start off with a Sakura Ogon, followed up with a Tancho Sanki, along with a Ginrin Tancho Sanki, a Beni Kikokuru, and then finally we finish this box off with a Tancho Sanki. Here we have a 21 inch Ginrin Tancho Kohaku along with a 22 inch Tancho Kohaku. Now these fish have now been in this box for about almost 30 hours. So they're a little stressed out. We're hoping that white on the fish will bounce back when just a week or two and they'll be back to their crisp white self that we had seen them looking like in Japan. And this brings us to our final box from Marasaka Koi Farms. We start off with a Deutz Kohaku, then a Tancho Kujaku, 
a Ginrin Tancho Harawaki. This one in particular was really sparkly and it's had that really rich yellow on the forehead. We're really excited about this one. A Deutz Kujaku. And then finally in this box, we have a yellow Shisui. We now head 30 minutes southwest to the other side of Ojia City to visit Hosokai Koi Farms. Hosokai Koi Farms has now been in business for over 50 years and is on the third generation, producing a nice selection of gosanki, but he also can produce a lot of beautiful asagis and other variety of fish too. We were able to buy eight fish from him with a total of two boxes. The first box starts off with this really adorable two-step Deutz Kohaku. We have here also a, a chagoy with really great scale separation, that, that beautiful fish net pattern going on its back. It's really strong in this fish. We also have a four-step kohaku, and finally a asagi. Now on this asagi, that, that blue is not really developed yet, so in somebody with really hard water, this would be an ideal fish, so that blue will come up, that, that color on his back will come up in that harder water. Now we start this box off with a Ginran Kohaku, really nice three-step pattern with just a little bit of Kuchi Benny on the lips there. This is probably my favorite fish from this breeder. It's a nice Azumi pattern Kohaku with a really cool zigzag pattern on its back. We also have a three-step Kohaku and finally an Asagi. I love this one where the red comes up onto the head, that little circle on the forehead. Very unique. We now head 30 minutes north to Koshiji Koi Farms. We can usually find some larger three, four, and five-year-old fish from him. However, this year, he had just harvested a couple of his ponds with two-year-old fish in them. So we knew we just had to buy a few of those also. Here we start off with several two-year-old koi. First one's a Deutz Kujaku. followed up by a Yamato Nishiki. Really nice bright white on these koi. A Deutz Showa, kind of an unusual, not your typical Showa pattern, but something that was just really bright and unique. An Aragako Ochiba. So once again, that dragon scale down the back with that little brown forehead. A Tancho Yamato Nishiki. A Deutz Showa, and finally a Sakura Ogon. Our next box starts off with a Deutz Showa, followed up with a Kikasui, a Deutz Showa again. A Deutz Ochiba, something we don't find very often. A Koshiki. A Yamato Nishiki. And finally one that we don't see very often at all. And here we have a Deutz Koshiki. Here we have some larger two-year-old koi. Starts off with the Tancho Showa. Now the black on this fish isn't up all the way just yet, so we have some hope that it'll come up in a year or so. But in the meantime, very nice pattern. A little atypical with that black all on one side, but still the quality was there. We then have a couple of Ginman Showas, followed up with a standard Showa. The thing we love about Koshiki Koi Farms is his black is always super deep and super intense. That's something we can always count on with his Koi. Sometimes you come across a koi that stops you in your tracks, and that's literally what this fish did. I was walking by the pond, stopped, had to take two steps back and turned, and went, oh my goodness, I have got to have that fish. And sure enough, this 24-inch Showa ended up coming home with us. She is absolutely spectacular with that Marutan circle on the forehead, the matching black and beth, both pectoral fins, and just such an eye-appealing pattern to the whole fish. This is one of those fish that 
it, you don't come across very often, and when you do, you just have to jump on it and buy it. Here we have an 18-inch male Showa. Uh, though it's a little smaller, the black was so rich and so deep on this fish, we thought it had a lot of potential for the future. And we have also have here a Ginrin Ochiba. Now this one is very unique. It actually has what we call pearl Ginrin scalation. Just that little dot in each scale going down its back. It, something very different and just the quality was incredible on that fish. Now if you've been looking for a big Tancho Showa, here's something right up your alley. We have a 23 inch three year old female and just such a striking pattern to it. Lots of black, but the face is still separate and unique and clean. We also have a 20 inch male Shiryutsuri, really wonderful, once again, deep, rich black to it, and really nice white. Once again, these fish have been stressed out from the shipping, so that should whiten up in just a couple of weeks. Once again, if you are if you want a Tantra Showa, this is something special. This here is a two-year-old uh, Tantra Showa female, and just such a round, perfect circle, but not an overwhelming lot of black. It's just a subtle, simple black pattern, which makes it very beautiful. We also have another Tantra Showa with a lot more black on it, something that's going to be a little more of a bold, in-your-face pattern. We also have here a, a Ginrin Showa. And finally, to wrap this box up, we have another Ginrin Showa. And this brings us to our final box from Koshiji Koi Farms. Start off with a Deutz Showa. We also have a Ginrin Goshiki. Doesn't look, doesn't look like a Goshiki right now, but more of that gray is going to be coming up from that white. We have a Kikasui. A Shiro Yutsuri. A Deutz Ochiba. Another Shiro Yutsuri. And finally, to wrap it up, we have a Tancho Yamato Nishiki. So that wraps it up for Koshiki Koi Farms. Our next stop is Maruhiro Koi Farms. Though founded just 17 years ago, he has quickly become known for producing some absolutely incredible quality and also variety of koi. We ended up selecting eight boxes with a total of 38 koi in them. Our first box here starts off with a Ochiba, followed up with an Orenji Ogon, a yellow Shisui, a He Yutsuri, Beni Kikokuru, and finally a Ginrin Ki Yutsuri. Here we have an Asagi, and I do like how the blue on the back is slightly underdeveloped. It uh, gives it a chance to fully come to fruition once it gets in our water here in the States. Also very nice bright red Benigoi, a Shiro Yutsuri, an Ochiba. A key Yutsuri. And finally, a he Yutsuri. In this box, we're going to have a couple of he Yutsuris. And they're all around that 20, 21 inch size. Uh, two regular and one Ginrin. 
And this is a wonderful example of the difference in patterns you can have with the heat series. Some more bold, some more simple, but all fantastic quality and very appealing to the eye. Now in this box we start off with a Showa. And then we also have a Ginrin Ochiba. Really wonderful Ginrin scales in this, all face in that same direction. We also have another Ginrin Ochiba, a metallic Ochiba, a Sanki, and finally we finish up with an Asagi. In this box we have a Kujaku. Followed up with a Hiyatsuri, a Showa, a Sanki with a very bold black pattern to her, and finally a Kujaku. We start off with a Showa, a really nice looking Akamatsuba, a Ginrin Showa, a Shisui, and finally a Metallic Ochiba. Here we find a yellow Shisui, a Ginrin Ki Yitsuri, and then also a Shiro Yitsuri. Now this kind of is in a cross almost between a Beko and a Yitsuri. The black's not real banding, but still would be considered a Yitsuri because of how much there is and the fact it comes down onto his face. This now brings us to our final box from Marahiro Koi Farms. We start off with a Ki Yitsuri. Then we also have a Ginrin Kohaku. Followed up with a Tancho Kohaku. And then finally, we wrap things up with a Ginrin Ki Yitsuri. So that concludes 38 fish and 8 boxes from Marahiro Koi Farms. This now brings us to our final koi breeder, Otsuka Koi Farms. We were able to purchase eight boxes with a total of 48 koi in them. Now here are two koi that Otsuka Koi Farm is really known for. The first one being this red Akamatsuba. And here, you look at the scalation on the back, that, that separation, that fish netting in between each scale is so pronounced and so clean. Additionally, we have an Asagi, another fish he's known for. Same thing here, that reticulated scalation where you can see the little bit of color of the body in between each scale is so clean and so crisp. These are both two wonderful examples of each of their breeds. We start this box off with an Asagi. Once again, you can tell this is something he's known for, that really clean netting down its back. We have a Goshiki, follow up with another Goshiki, an Igoromo, here we have a Kigoi. This is a yellow version of the Matsuba we had in the previous bowl. And finally, a Kigoi. This box starts off with a Ki Yitsuri. We then also have a Benigoi. A Deutz Kohaku. Another Asagi. One skin, really clean pattern. An Ai Garomo. 
and finally a kujaku. Really nice kujaku here, good clean reticulation and a very neon color to it. This was the first year they were able also to select from some smaller koi. Though they're two year olds and around 12 inches, the quality was amazing. We have here a Kiyotsuri, a Ginrin Chagoi, an Asagi, with a really nice red pattern coming up across the face and also right into the pectoral fins. A Showa, a Hiyutsuri, once again, really nice, interesting black pattern to it. A standard Chagoi, this is that kind of red Chagoi versus the standard brass one. A Kohaku, another Asagi with a much more developed pattern across its back. A Shisui. An Ochiba, a Kiyotsuri, and finally they round out this batch, a Kujaku. And here's another box of that same two-year-old fish. We start off with a Ginrin Ochiba, along with a Ginrin Chagoi. A Kaga Hiyatsuri, so it's going to be kind of a shadow to the red. A Showa, a Kigoi, a Ginrin Chagoi, a Hiyatsuri, a Suragoi, an Asagi, a Ginrin Kiyatsuri. A Ginrin Surugoi, and finally a Chagoi. Here's a few more of the same small fish a Ginrin Chagoi, a Benigoi, a Karashigoi, an Akamatsuba, a Ginrin Chagoi. An Akamatsuba. And then we also had one leftover fish to fit in the box that was a little bit larger that we selected from another pond. Here we have a Ginrin Tancho Goshiki. Really interesting one here. A little on the light side, so that gray across his back of the Goshiki should develop over the next few years. Now, in this box, we have two Akamatsubas one around 17 inches and the other around 21 inches. Both wonderful examples, but if you notice the scalation, how different it is. Both are completely acceptable versions of this. One's a little darker, the other one's still a lighter, almost like polka dots. Just two different styles, but both extremely nice quality. And this brings us to our final fish of the whole trip. We have here a 23 inch Benigoy. Now, a lot of times people think of Benigoys as being kind of just an oversized goldfish, but in our opinion, they're actually a really spectacular fish to have in your pond. This is a wonderful example of it. The, head, the color on the head and the body match. The little bit of white on the pectoral fins just adds a little extra something to it. Plus, with the full body confirmation she has, this could be a wonderful addition to one of our customers' ponds. And now here's a first look at the trailer for our upcoming film, What Is It Like to Buy Koi in Japan, Episode 2, The Selecting Process.